Hey there, welcome back to the garage. It's Matt uh, out here in the Blue Boat garage. Uh, right up here where you can't see it is the Blue Boat sitting on the rack waiting for me to complete this engine. Um, I mentioned several times in previous uh, stuff on Facebook and potentially in videos, I think it was in videos, that the heads that I'm putting on this engine um, are Edelbrock uh, Performer RPM heads. I had them on a different engine. Um, it was on an engine that was in my truck. Um, I have pilfed these off of the engine that's in the truck because it was just a um, low compression 360. So these heads were way overkill for that engine. Um, I replaced the heads on that engine with uh, factory cast iron Ford heads that I had rebuilt. Um, so these, engine, these heads are going to be going on this engine here. Um, the problem is originally these heads, when I purchased them, they were for an engine that was running a flat tappet camshaft. This engine's got a roller cam in it. Um, the valve springs are different for flat tappet cams and for roller cams. Uh, um, I contacted Edelbrock, asked them what springs I needed, what spring rate and stuff. Um, they told me what springs. Unfortunately, theirs were not available, so I ended up getting a set of Trick Flow springs. Um, same exact specs as the Edelbrock springs. Um, and then when I went to put this together, the whole point of this video here is when I went to put these brand new Trick Flow springs in, I discovered something, and that was that my valve spring compressor tool here that I've had for several years, um, I used it when I rebuilt the engine that's in my truck initially um, before I had issues with the heads on that. Um, but when I went to remove the springs from this Edelbrock head, as I will show you right here, so this is correctly adjusted for these. I cannot, if I crank this up a little bit further, I cannot get these springs to compress enough to get the locks out. So, like, I mean, it's to the point where these arms here are starting to bend. Um, I refer to myself, uh, people that come into the gun store where I work have heard me say this many times, I'm a cheap SOB. Um, so I try not to spend a crap ton on tools if I don't need to. Um, I don't recall where I got these. They might have been from Summit. Um, could have been from Amazon. Summit, a lot of their cheaper tools are um, Chinese made. So that could be where these came from. Um, but this thing sucks. If you're going to buy yourself a valve spring compression, uh, compressor tool, um, and you're not going to be doing something that's just got really light valve springs on it all the time, save yourself some money. I mean, granted, this might work later down the road for some other projects that I have, but for this thing, I needed something stronger. So let me get this out of my way. And actually, I'm gonna grab my gloves here real quick. I'm trying to stay clean. Um, so what I ended up doing was buying myself a new valve spring compressor tool from Summit. Um, this is one of their store brand tools. It's a knockoff of another tool. Um, I want to say it was about 20 or 30 bucks cheaper to buy the Summit version of it. But there it is. This thing is significantly stronger. The area that compresses the actual, tell you what, let me throw on this other camera here. Since I now have a little bit closer up camera to look at here. So it's not requiring on me adjusting this and having these not bend and flip off the side of the valve spring retainers. So this thing worked okay for weaker springs, not so much for the um, stronger springs that are on here currently, and these springs here are gonna be even heavier. So this new tool, which I have not adjusted yet, This would be easier to do had I, were I doing this actually on a workbench because I wouldn't be fighting at these edges. So the problem is in order to film this easily, I got to do it here. So let's see if this helps me any. All right. So now if I crank this up, there it goes. And there are the locks. I just need to, there we go. One and two. 
Now, as I let this out, that spring is going to uncompress. And come on, get the tool out of the way. There we go. So there is the original Edelbrock spring and the retainer. Um, anyway, this was just meant to be a kind of quick, real short video here about uh, with the intent of potentially saving anybody who might be doing this on their own. Save yourself a little bit of money. Um, spend an extra, I think it was about a $30 price difference between the two tools. I want to say the first one I bought was about 60 bucks. This one was around the $90 price range. No, it was 99 bucks. Uh, learn from my mistakes. If you're going to buy yourself a spring compressing tool, spend a couple extra bucks on the onset, have a better tool. So anyway, that's it. Have a good one.